Hello, this is Pat the Wildlife Guy. Today, we'll make a short video on squirrels in the attic. Now behind me is an entrance. The squirrels have been coming and going through this point for years and have chewed it out pretty bad. So, how do you get rid of the squirrels? Lots of wildlife controllers will set rat snap traps or little cage traps like this up in the attic to try and catch the squirrel. Now, this is a bad idea. Attic trapping doesn't guarantee that you have all the squirrels out. There may be babies, a mate, two squirrels fighting, or maybe just lots of squirrels coming and going because it's a popular area. I have seen attics with six or eight squirrels running through them. Bottom line is that there's an unlimited number of squirrels out there that may at any time decide to come into your attic. Verifying that the attic is clear is impossible with this method. Squirrels are prey animals that are likely to hide if they sense danger. So even if you go into the attic, look around, it's likely that you're going to miss whatever's up there. Hauling away one or two squirrels does nothing to solve this particular problem. So what I like to do is start with my own secret predator eviction process. The goal of the predator eviction process is to make the squirrel leave on her own. This is real important. Because most squirrel in the attic situations involve a mama squirrel trying to raise babies up in the attic. Lots of times mama squirrel has tucked the babies down the wall or in some tight little spot that you're not even going to get to. You might not even know where they are for sure. My predator eviction process touches on all the squirrel's senses. This is my own special mix of predator fluid. The smell of this stuff strikes fear into the heart of squirrels of any species around here. Doesn't matter if it's flying squirrels or gray squirrels. Now, along with the predator smell, there are sounds and sensation that makes the squirrel uncomfortable, anxious, and afraid that she and her babies are going to get eaten. This is something that a prey animal is genetically made to take notice of. So if you do it right, mama squirrel will pick up her litter and move them right on out of the attic to an alternate nest spot. I have been developing my squirrel removal process the last five years or so, and I have it tuned up to the point that I can get about 90% of the squirrels to leave. This saves my customers money because I don't have to make five or six trips to their house checking traps. I don't have to cut holes in their walls to pull out dead, rotten baby squirrels. I don't have to go inside their house and increase their exposure risk to COVID, and I don't have to squirt traumatize any more squirrels than necessary. It's great and everybody wins. Once I give the predator eviction treatment a few days to work, I come back and hang a repeating trap over the entrance. Now for the squirrel, food and drink is on the outside. The squirrel has to come through the hole to get out. But the secret is that you have to plug up all the other holes. If there's another hole out there that the squirrel can go through, Squirrel's going to use it, it's going to skip the trap. If the trap comes up empty after a few days, that's all right. That just means the predator eviction treatment worked. The repeating trap is there just as a safety measure in case some ornery squirrel didn't pay any attention to the predator eviction treatment. Once I do a few double checks, it's time to take down the repeating trap. Once the trap is down, it's time to repair the hole. I never ever walk away from an entrance hole after the trap is down. The hole is always sealed the same day because you never know what's going to dash in it as soon as you turn your back. I like to pack all the little holes around that woodwork with stainless steel wool that won't rust out. This way, the squirrel can't get his nose back in that little hole and get his teeth on the edge of that wood to start chewing it out. The caulk does a good job of sealing it in there. I think it's a good idea to caulk up at the top of this little trim piece because if water gets in and it gets down there on the woodwork, it's going to rot it out and it's going to get all soft and eventually the animals are going to find their way in again. When it's all sealed in, I like to slap a coat of paint on it so that it looks nice again. Sure does look better than it did when I came upon it with that big squirrel hole in the middle of it. Well, the squirrels are out, all the entrances are sealed, and the customers haven't heard a scratch in the attic for days. I call this job done. If you have squirrels in the attic 
you're hearing things in the attic and you need it checked out, give me a call. I'm Pat the Wildlife Guy. Or give me a click, check out the website. Got a few things on there that might help you out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.